In this video, I want to do a quick little change to how we disconnect our clients. So what I mean by that is I want to override disconnect client. So if we look over here to a online beacon host object, see disconnect client, it's overridable. So let's go ahead and do that. So first we want to, no, oh, actually let's just go ahead and actually override it first. Let's do virtual void. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, just disconnect client parameter that it takes in the A online beacon client. And override. Create the definition for it. Which means it's probably going to take a minute. And then we're going to dig, in, dig into the definition of it. Go to, go to definition. The disconnect client that we've called uh, previously. Of course, it takes us to ours. I didn't think about that. I'm going to comment that out and do it again. Go to definition. <sighs> there we go. Uh, we're done. Freeze. I'm going to go ahead and close the game mode, and I'm just going to pin that to the end there. So, disconnect client, this is essentially what it's doing. We are calling disconnect client from beacon host. So, what I want to do, I didn't realize that was actually the... I did not realize I could actually do this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, paste it into our disconnect client function, like so, and uncomment that out. But I didn't even think that uh, the owner was referring to a online beacon host. So that's handy to know, because where we do it in here, that means we no longer need to go from our main menu. So what we can do instead, I'm going to clean this up, and online beacon host equals get owner. That returns an actor, so we want to cast it to a online beacon host. That should be good to go. So now in our in menu game mode, we can simply remove get host. No longer needed. So back here, we have our disconnect client. Where we overwrite it, what I want to do is I want it to call a function already well, before it actually disconnects it. Um, like right before it disconnects it, so kind of like an on disconnected function essentially. I want to make this overridable in case we ever decide to, for some reason, virtual void on disconnected. So I think that's spelled right. And create the definition. And this takes ages. There we go. So I have an on disconnected function. And I want to print out a log. I just say disconnected. So let's make this public. 
and in our disconnect client, I'm going to call. I want to do if a Nazi zombie beacon client client equals cast a Nazi zombie beacon client from client actor. So if that works, then I'm going to do client on disconnected. And I want to print out a log just to be sure that this is good to go. Disconnecting client and print out client actor. So client actor get name and compile. So hopefully our version should run. And it should fire the on disconnected function in our client in which I want to bind an event to. So when it fires, I want it to kick us to the main menu instead of staying in that kind of lobby. So I'll close, close the engine because I'm going to have to restart it anyways. There we go. That took a while. Launch two clients and let's give it a test. So this is our client and this one's our host. Let's connect. Good to go. And I just realized I forgot to reconnect <laughs> when I renamed everything. I forgot to, uh, when I renamed shut, disconnect all clients to shut down server, I forgot to reconnect that. So let me do that real quick. It's valid. We're going to call shut down server. File and save. And now we should be good to go because previously it did not actually shut the server down. Let's host, connect. This one's the host, this one's client. Client is disconnected. This client, dang client, I screwed that up. Let's see. Should be uh, there. I'm not quite sure why it's not firing. Okay, going disconnected. Oh, because I'm calling it on the server. I got to make that a client RBC. A U function, client, reliable. It's going to be void on disconnected and virtual void client underscore on disconnected. Implementation. Client underscore on disconnected. So that was firing. That was just firing on the server. So now going from the server to the client. And this should hopefully set it up so. And I just realized a mistake. Change you from disconnected to client. Score on, disconnected, and compile.
in the uh, Nazi zombie beacon host object. I I forgot to rename it. Just compiled. Let's give it a try. And hopefully it should fire on the client. This is the client. This one's the server. Kick it out. So we have a UV log saying disconnected. So there we go. So our this is our little uh, event that we have. And that's what we want. So from here, we can actually create another one of these to broadcast into our widget. So that'll set us up. So whenever it gets broadcasted, so we've disconnected, it means we can Use our widget switcher to go back to the main menu and destroy our client beacon. So now that everything's set up right, so that we officially shut down the server and disconnect the client and have a little our own little event for it. Let's say we're good to go to stop here and in the next one we will set it up so we do what I just said. So it kicks the client back to the main menu and it will destroy his client beacon. So, now this is good. I will see you then.